crowd is on its feet tonight here in St. Louis, Missouri. These fans are so excited, I'm having a hard time staying in my own seat myself. I'm with you on that, partner. We've got a great show here tonight for these St. Louis fans, and I can't wait to get started. Oh, the rest out like a lot. Anything goes now. Unfortunately, you're right. There's no one to enforce the rules until the ref revives. And there's the reversal. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You gotta watch out for your opponent right. when they're getting fired up like this. Great reversal. Three. Four. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, Five. you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. Oh, no. The referee is down. What's going to happen now? Anything and everything. No ref means no rule. <laughs> I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long rivalry. I don't know how nice it is, but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think this match might only exasperate them. Hey, watch your link. That isn't going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. He sure can. They see everything, and they'll let him. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to strain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. Talk about superstars who don't have an ounce of quit between them. You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Hey, you got to be in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. And that's what matters. If you're not doing everything you can to win, you're in the wrong business. Wow, great reversal. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, it's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. These superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. I don't think you're going to be able to just sit back and enjoy the ride. And what a wild ride it's been so far, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. I think these superstars are going to keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. That's not in the rule book, but it's not a crime if you don't get caught. I don't believe it. How could the referee have missed that? I love it. Talk about rubbing your opponent's face in it. Yes, but this might not be the smartest course of action. This match is far from over. Come on, ref. That should have been a disqualification right there. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Bottom line is, it ain't. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent.
That's absolutely right. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponents think you're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars. Sound out.